Pressure reducing valves are used to limit the pressure in the lower parts of a system. The model on the screen has some pressure reducing valves. Pipe 1 has a pressure reducing valve to reduce the pressure to 20 psi gauge, and pipe 3 has a pressure reducing valve to reduce the pressure to 15 psi gauge. First of all, I'm going to deactivate these pressure reducing valves and solve the system without them so we can see the pressures that we would get at the nodes. So I've deactivated these pressure reducing valves now. I'm going to click the calculate button, view the results drawing, and we can see node 2 has a pressure of, well, just over 70 psi gauge. And node 4 has a pressure of just over 92 psi gauge. I'm going to go back into design mode now and enable the pressure reducing valves and then recalculate the system. View the results drawing and now we can see node 2 has a pressure of 20 psi gauge because that's what the pressure reducing valve was set to reduce to. And if we hover the mouse over the pressure reducing valve, we can see in the results list a control loss figure of 116.7 feet of head. And this is the amount of loss that the pressure reducing valve has introduced into the system in order to achieve the required pressure at the following node. Node 4 has a pressure of 15 psi gauge because the pressure reducing valve on pipe 3 is reducing the pressure to 15 psi gauge. And if we hover over the pressure reducing valve on pipe 3, we can see the loss that has been added by this pressure reducing valve. Pressure reducing valves are added to the end of a pipe. There are three ways to add a pressure reducing valve to the end of a pipe. We can click on the pipe and in the pipe pane, we can select the add edit control valve button, or we can right click on the pipe and select the add edit control valve option from the menu. Or from the toolbar, we can select add control valve and then click on the pipe we want to add the control valve to. All three of these options will bring up the set control data and then we just select the pressure reducing valve radio button and then define the pressure that we want. A pressure reducing valve cannot add pressure. If the pressure reducing valve pressure setting is higher than the maximum pressure that would occur at the following node, then the system will not be solved. The pressure reducing valve has to add loss into the system and therefore any selected valve for the real world system needs to be capable of adding this loss.